We end this week with a lesson in forgiveness from Steve Hartman on the road. It all went down on this block in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Back in 05, Jamel McGee says he was minding his own business when a police officer accused him of and arrested him for dealing drugs. You saying the officer made it up? Yeah, it was all made up. Of course, a lot of accused men make that claim, but not many arresting officers agree. So you phonied the report? I did, I falsified the report. This is former Benton Harbor police officer Andrew Collins. Were you just trying to chalk up an arrest? Well, basically, the start of that day, I was going to make sure I had another drug arrest. And in the end, you put an innocent guy in jail? Correct. Yeah. You lost everything. I lost everything. My only goal was to seek him when I got home and to hurt him. Really? That was my goal. Eventually, that crooked cop was caught, served a year and a half for falsifying many police reports, planting drugs and stealing. Of course, Jamal was exonerated, but he still spent four years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Today, both men are back here in Benton Harbor, which is a small town, maybe a little too small. Hey guys, thank you. Last year, by sheer coincidence, they both ended up at Mosaic, a faith-based employment agency where they now work side by side in the same cafe. Oh, excuse me. And it was in these cramped quarters that the bad cop and the wrongfully accused had no choice but to have it out. And I said, honestly, I have no explanation. All I can do is say I'm sorry. And Jamel says that was all it took. That was pretty much what I needed to hear. Today, they're not only cordial. Saturday, we went to the trampoline park. They're friends. Uh, you know, we talk about life. Such close friends. Not long ago, Jamel actually told Andrew he loved him. And I just started weeping because he doesn't owe me that. Uh, he, I don't deserve that, you know? Did you forgive for his sake or for yours? No, for our sake. Not just us, for our sake. Jamel went on to tell me about his Christian faith and his hope for a kinder <laughs> mankind. He wants to be an example. So now he and Andrew give speeches together about the importance of forgiveness and redemption. I'll grab this one, set it over there. And clearly, if these two guys from the coffee shop can set aside their bitter grounds, what's our excuse? Steve Hartman, on the road, in Benton Harbor, Michigan. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight.